Welcome to the Wahoo Central Podcast, coming to you from the McHugh Center at the University of Virginia. I'm Jeff White, Director of News Content for VirginiaSports.com, and my guest today is Anthony Gill from the men's basketball team. Mr. Gill, it's hard to get you out of the gym, so I appreciate your stopping by. Welcome. Oh, no problem. I love love sitting down talking to you, Jeff. <laughs> You guys opened the season Friday night against JMU in Harrisonburg. This time last year, you were something of a mystery man to fans. They'd heard a lot about you, but very few of them had actually seen you on the court, and you'd never played for Virginia in an official game. How different does everything feel this time around? Um, it feels a lot better this time. You know, last year was a mystery to me, too, what I, what I was going into. You know, I, I was here working out with the team for a whole year, but um, actually getting to play games with them was a lot different. And um, I got adjusted to that by the end of the year, and I'm, I'm actually looking forward to this season. So, What do you and the other players make of the top ten rankings and all the preseason hype, of which there's been a lot? You know, it's, it's nice to have that, but we can't pay attention to that. You know, um, we were ranked last year going into the season, not as high, but we were ranked. And, um, and you see what happened to us last year. We got knocked off really hard, uh, especially during that Tennessee game. So we just have to remember where we were last year and what, it got, what got us to the place that we were last year. You know, we were successful last year by being humble and being aware of, of what was going on around us and not letting that outside stuff get into our heads. Tell us about the bachelor pad you share with Darion, Malcolm, Darius, Devin, and London. Is it true you and Darion are the neat ones in the bunch? Um, I would have to say that I am definitely the neatest of them all. Those guys, I don't know. It's and a, Malcolm is Malcolm contrary is, to what people might expect. He's something the of a slob. He is the sloppiest of them all. And um, I, if you come by the house, it's clean because we keep it clean, and we make <laughs> I make sure that we keep it clean. But you know, it's six of us in there right now, and next year there's going to be nine of us in there. So. Uh, we're, is there room for nine right now? Well, we're, we're connecting <laughs> We're connecting another apartment on top of that one, so it's going to be a whole big team apartment, so it's going to be pretty fun. I hate to be the guys who are not in that group. Right? <laughs> uh, you stayed in town after the last school year ended, and you were sort of Jack Salt's mentor when he arrived here from New Zealand in May. You lived with him, and you helped introduce him to life in the States. How big an adjustment was it for Jack at first? Um, I think it was... It was just a culture shock for him, you know. And for me, I, I didn't know anything about New Zealand until I sat down and I was just asking Jack a lot of questions. So a lot of the questions I asked him may have seemed silly to him <laughs> because he's like, yeah, I know that person. Like, we're not a, like, we're not from another planet and stuff like that. <laughs> well, they're on the other side of the planet. Yeah, but, <laughs> but uh, the first time I took him to Walmart was a funny experience, you know, just because they don't have that there. And he was just going down the cookie aisle, just going like, oh, my gosh, they don't, we don't have this in uh, New Zealand and stuff like that. So it was pretty fun. I've seen you a lot of times goofing around with the coach's children at JPJ, and I heard about how great you were with Will Davis at the VAF event in Richmond last spring. As a high-profile college basketball player, you have opportunities to make a positive impact in young people's lives, and you really seem to enjoy that interaction. Am I right about that? Uh, I love it. You know, um, anytime I get a chance to make a difference in somebody's life, I'm going to do it. You know, I have right after this interview right now, I have to go speak to a group of children right after this in the film room. So it's just something that I like to do. You know, God's blessed me with this opportunity to to be able to put him on the forefront of things. And I just want to be able to inspire different people. And uh, that's what I go out there and do. Um, I'm just blessed to have the opportunity to know Will Davis and his family. You know, I wear this wristband, wristband every day. Uh, it's willpower for him and uh, just for his fight and everything like that, just supporting him. Is it pretty cool to turn on the TV and see Joe playing with LeBron and, and, and the rest, it's, it's, particularly LeBron? Yeah, it's great just to see him out there, you know, living his dream out and, uh, and getting to play with the greatest player in the world. You know, I, I think he's the greatest player ever to play. Not talking about LeBron, Joe Harris. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, you know, Joe, uh, Joe is a great teammate, and I'm sure the Cavaliers are uh, blessed to have him. All right, AG, thanks again for making time for this interview, and best of luck this season. Yes, sir. Thank you.